I have to test some relays today and I thought to bring you along and show you how I, how you can do it real quick using this uh, this kit from Electronic Specialties. This is the uh, Fuse Buddy model ES191 and um, show you what it looks like. That's the kit right there. That's the basic kit and then you got a bunch of adapters that'll adapt on here so that you can use with different style relays. Um, it's a it's a nice little kit and it can really make um, testing relays uh, pretty fast. Now as you can see here I have three Bosch uh, relays. These are out of a Toyota. Um, they're for the cooling fans. Um, the way Toyota does it they run the fans in series and parallel whether you want it on high or low. So I want to make sure they're uh, they're all working properly. And so what you do is you take your relay you just plug it into the appropriate spot or find your appropriate uh, adapter here. Plug it in you have to connect it to the vehicle and then you pick either four or five pin in this case this one's a four pin so we leave it on four and then we hit test and what it does is it tests it ten times it'll turn it on and off ten times and if it's bad on any of those ten it'll give you a red light if all ten are good it'll give you a green light so it's pretty fast and easy as long as the uh, relays fit in one of your adapters let's go check it out on the vehicle so as you can see all you have to do is connect it to uh, the battery positive and negative on a vehicle and then it lights up and then we can do our tests so as you can see from these uh, relays the pin design is very similar on all four you got the four basic pins um, and then this one has uh, the five pin the one in the middle this one is a slight variation of that so we're going to be using this socket right here for them so all we do is take it plug it in the correct way and then hit test. And that's it. Tested good. I hope you can hear it clicking. I can hear it clicking every time. So we know that one's good. Oh, I should mention, I had already put it on four pin because that's a four. This one's a five. So we need to put it on 5 pin, put it in the correct way and do the same thing. And this one's good too. And then now we have this one which is also a 4 pin. but this one's a bit different as you can see this is a standard four pin design and you can see how this one this pin is over in the middle similar to a five pin right here um, this one is a uh, normally closed and then when it opens it does not have a fifth pin to open to and so it will fool the uh, the fuse buddy here or the relay buddy watch I'll show you we'll put it on four pin you can see it won't even test and if we put it on 5 pin it'll click it once and then fail it immediately because it it's a little Toyota has this um, you know design where it, it's running the uh, the power through all three of these when it's uh, doing its series and parallel thing and so this relay is a bit different so this green one here we're gonna have to test the old-fashioned way now I'll show you how to do that real quick. All right, so on this one, these two pins on the outside are our control. So once we apply a power and a ground to these two, it will open the switch inside there. And then, so right now there's continuity on the two middle pins. And then as soon as we power these two up, it's, it'll open up. So we will just put our DVOM right there. We'll check it for continuity. And then we just need to apply power and ground to the other side. I'm just using my power probe to do this. And 
and then so as soon as I hit the switch you can see right now the switch is closed that's why we it, it looks uh, good we have continuity as soon as I hit the power over here we should hear it click and then this should go open ah, let me turn that sound off there you can see it open let me let it up back continuity So you can see, it takes a little bit longer, a little more of a pain to do it this way, but you can do it this way, the old-fashioned way. Definitely makes it easier with a power probe. You can see, there's nothing wrong with this relay. Alright, and as a little bonus footage, let's test this uh, relay from a, for a blower motor circuit off a of Nissan. As you can see, it's a four pin. Switch it over to four pin, put it in the one that matches. Should be this one. And yeah, the, the blower motor is working intermittently. Usually when it's cold out, it doesn't work. So let's test this relay, see if it's any good. Yeah, it looks good. At least right now. Best test would be if it's cold out. Well, there you go. I just wanted to show you, you know, quick little way you can uh, test relays with this uh, Relay Buddy from Electronic Specialties. Uh, I've had this kit for quite a while. Um, no, they're not paying me to do this. I own this kit. I bought it a long time ago. Um, and as you saw, you know, it could test relays really fast. Just connect it, plug the relay in, test it. Done. Uh, but as you saw with this one, it has its limitations. Um, and so you still have to know um, how a relay works. So in case you run into that, you know how to fix it and test it. So in any event, as always, if you like the video, it helped you out. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.